All right, this is OG. First 250R I ever got, had it about two years. We're gonna do some work on today. Um, we have a previous video that shows how we got it when we first bought it. It's basically like this, but we've done a few things. I'm gonna walk over what it's got on it now, and then we're gonna show you what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna do a final video after it's done. Um, basically, we got this nice AC powder coated black. Grandpa here, which I put on. These triple rate uh, works here stock a arms uh, frames cool yellow color got the full four plastics um, it's got an oversized stem and bars anti-vibe going on there down here it's got an ESR 265 power valve motor I think it's a pro X cylinder um, carbs off of it now because we we're messing with it I added these Nerf bars, these ACs with the kickups. Put a skid plate on it here. This is the 86. We're going to turn it into a woods quad because my other quad's way too wide for the woods. It's going to keep this one narrow. Came with a plus four swing arm, which is the main thing we're doing today is swapping that to a actually a minus one swing arm. But got this nice cascade seat I put on it here. I think it looks really good. It's got the OMF. Uh, Nice billet mounts there. This ugly axle is going to go. I'm going to get a new one on here today. Um, walk around. It's got the ESR TRX6 pipe on it. Got a cool quick change JA tracing cover here. And uh, just get a pan around, show what this thing looks like. Them paddles are just on there because we had to have something to roll it around on. We stole the wheels a while back, so it's getting its original wheels back on. We'll go over here to the parts we're going to put on today. We've got a Lone Star plus one plus four axe caliber. Actually got a minus one inch swing arm. Put some new grips. Put this Renthal R4Z ring on here. Got a nice wave anti-fade. And new sprocket. And we're just gonna put these things on today, get it back to a good trail quad. And uh, there you go.